Hi guys, it's Cindy from Cindy's Thrifting again. Just wanted to show you another haul. I've got quite a few more critters. So Thursday we will be um, showing a lot of these critters for sale. But first I'm gonna show them to you today. First one up looks like a little teddy bear with uh, a barrel next to him. And that is a planter. And I don't know if it's Shawnee or what, um, but he is so cute. And I did go into an antique store to get this, so I paid a little bit up. Um, but you will see him Thursday for sale. Look at those eyes. And there you want them. Next up, we have um, this fish. And it's one of those Deodorizers, pomodors, I forget what they call them. Um, but look at those eyes. Aren't they cute with the eyelashes? The tail. No nicks or cracks in this one. Absolutely perfect, except for it's missing the um, stopper. And he is so cute. So that'll be another one you'll see on Thursday for sale. And that came from the antique store also. This one here, little bitty elephant. He has his trunk up and he's winking at you. And he's got a little tongue there. It's for a little tiny plant or whatever you uh, would like to hold. Now I'm not going to um, let you down, I hope, but this one does have a couple little flea bite nicks, whatever you want to call them. Um, I did file them down so they wouldn't cut anybody, but uh, there's one there. I'll show you on the back. One there and one there. And I think right inside there might be, but I don't know if that's just the way it's made. So anyway, definitely two right there and right there. So, and then he's got a little butt with a little tail hanging down. <laughs> Again, either the maker's mark disappeared or um, was never on there. But I know these are pretty old when they have that coloring like this. So I just thought he was adorable, even with the Knicks. I said, oh, I think someone's gonna give him a happy home now because he's one of the cutest elephants I've ever did see. I hope you like them too. <laughs> All right, so that's three. And then um, came across this little angel. Um, this was at Goodwill. Those were at the antique store. So the little angel, she has a beautiful like little rosebud lips and beautiful eyelashes. Um, she's holding like a clover, it looks like. I don't know if it's a four leaf. Uh, no, it just looks like a three leaf clover. And she's kind of kneeling down on a pillow. The flower is a little bit of damage right there, that last petal. Um, but you don't notice it so much because the leaves are in the front too. So you can take a look at that. You know, up close you're gonna notice it, but when you look at the whole thing, you don't really notice it. Um, then this is the back. And shows her little feet and the wings. And she may have had her wings either glued on at one point. There's a couple little dots of glue, but otherwise they're in perfect condition. And I just loved the way she looked. I thought she was adorable. So that was from the Goodwill. And then also from the Goodwill, I ran into some doggies. And I know that most of y'all love doggies. Well, you're either a cat person or a dog person, right? So I guess I'm speaking to the dog people today. <laughs> So here he is. Oh, and he's so cute. Look at that face. Oh, <laughs> I think these are called, um, what are they called? Airedale Terrier, I believe. 
Um, and it does, it is marked with Japan. Doesn't say a maker, but it does say it came from Japan. Has some crazing, but oh, it's so cute. Look at that face. And uh, I don't think any damage. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, this one back leg looks like it was glued back on. They did a really good job though, seaming it up. So uh, right there, you can see that it does have a crack. But otherwise, he's gorgeous. So that's that one. And then we have another little doggy, and this one, what is it called? It's a, um, hmm, my mother-in-law had one, uh, Shadow, Shadow, what were you called? It is, I can't remember the name, English, no, um, it'll come to me. <laughs> But he's gorgeous too, and um, English Spaniel, um, something like that, some kind of Spaniel. It's a bigger Spaniel, you know, not a Cocker Spaniel. This one, I don't see Japan on, but it's so light, I know it is made in Japan. And he's adorable, is he not? I just love him. Let me push my glasses up. I think he's adorable. And then, so, woof, woof, by me on Thursday, I'll be there. <laughs> and then another dog. This is a little Dotson, or hot dog dog, however you would like to call him. And this does have a maker's mark, but I do not, or cannot read it. I'll try to make sure I have my um, magnifying glass Thursday. So this is my little um, hmm, hot dog dog. <laughs> I think he's cute. Look at that face. I'm trying to get the light to come on it from outside. Oh, This is made real well. Um, the tail may have come off at one time and someone glued it. Uh, you see a little white there, but it's on there and it's long, so yeah. But he is adorable. I don't know, I had um somebody in my family had, oh, and he has a little white dot on his nose. Maybe some brown paint would uh, make it look better there. See it? Yeah. So someone in my family had, um, Dotson's at one time, and I think the one's name was Chessie, so we'll call him Chessie. <laughs> so here's Chessie, come adopt me on Thursday. <laughs> um, it's fun to find these older uh, figurines because uh, they just, they're made much better than these resin ones nowadays. And there goes Maddie. And then I have another planner, and it reminds me of the um, Joseph Original Girls. See the face? Yeah. But on the sticker, the sticker's only partially there. And she's got a little hat, and she's pulling up her dress so it doesn't get dirty. And the yellow color is very bright, vibrant still. And nice size planner you could put any kind of plant in there and then the bottom like i said it's only a partial gold sticker there um and i don't know what it says you can't read much on there but she's adorable her top is uh, very glazed and then this is like almost matte i don't know if someone just washed it a lot or what but that's her very cute with her ponytail. And you let me know, is that a Joseph original face? It really looks like it, doesn't it? And then, um, I couldn't pass these up because I just like Betty Boop myself. Oh, excuse the 
water droplets that are still on there. And this one, she looks like she's singing, martini glass. And I don't know when these were made. Maybe it says it on the bottom. Hold on. I don't see a year, but they're fairly new. I just liked it because it's Betty Boop. And then there's a second one of Betty Boop. Martini glass, and she's holding uh, roses, like someone gave her roses. But she's so cute. How could you pass her up? So I do have a set of two, and they'll go for sale on Thursday also. Um, I'll cry when I part with them, but that's the name of the game. Then I have this uh, beautiful red vase, and I don't know if I'm gonna give this up yet. I'm still contemplating. Um, I don't know if it's Fenton or if it's, um, what's the other one? I can't think of the name. Well, I'll have to look up and see if I can find it. It stands about uh, 14 inches or so all together. It's at Amberina. It goes from the red to the gold. And I think it's very pretty. I adore it. Okay. Then we have a little bit of change here. Um, I picked up this tin. I'm starting to look at the tins because everybody says they collect them. This does look like an older one and it was made in England. It has some uh, almost moriage, moriage, however you say that, where it's the raised paint a little bit on top. And the rose is probably, I don't know, that's probably not painted, that's probably just transfer wear. And it looks almost like a powder container when we used to use powder. It has brass inside. Very clean. It has a little bit of paint loss here and there, but not much at all. It has a little bit of something there. I might be able to get that off. I don't know if that's that'll stay on there. But otherwise, the color is really nice. And there's the uh, Made in England. And you notice it doesn't have any um, skew uh, ticket on there. So I think it's older, but it's a nice size and it was made in England. It has that black background, that's why it looks so good. And then we have something that attracted me for, again, Michelle in Comfy Cozy Living some cherries painted on a box. It's really well done, I think. I like the way the leaves look. Um, I do believe they're cherries. And a nice nice handle. You can put anything in here, really. Letters, um, reminders, bills. It is worn, some worn paint here and here. Um, and then it has the dark green on the bottom. And then it it's plain on that side, but it has the cherries on that side. And I'll just bring that up a little bit closer so you can see the paint job. I think it's really done well. You can see the shadows and the highlights in it. Isn't that pretty? And that's about, I don't know, uh, 15 inches long, maybe three or four inches high, you know, to where the opening is. So that's that. That'll be in Thursday's sale. And here is a kitty. A little kitty. I don't know if this is paint loss or if that's the way he's supposed to look, but he does have some missing paint it looks like it could be. He's still cute. He's crouched down like he wants to play. And no maker's mark. <laughs> so that's a kitty and then I have these little mice 
and I believe it had a mother mouse to go with it, but um, I don't have the mother mouse. So if you like little mice, or you have a little shelf that you just need something small for, here's the two little kid mice, and they have cute eyes too. This one has more eyelashes. <laughs> Something else I came across was this Vera Bradley wallet, so I'll probably show that on Thursday. Also, um, and a cute little kitty cat purse. Um, I don't know if it was handmade or what, it just has a little pocket on the front with the cat sunbathing with tabby tan. <laughs> And then a little bit of beaded fringe that is Velcro here and one big pocket there. And it has a ribbon connected to it. So I guess if you're going to the beach and you only need your suntan lotion and maybe uh, a little bit of money in there, there you go. Then I really shocked myself today at Salvation Army this fairy lamp and I know a lot of people are going crazy over the fairy lamp so this will be on Thursday sale Stella that's enough um, there are no chips or cracks or anything it's just beautiful a beautiful amber glass it's gonna sparkle 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 I'll try to have a candle in it come Thursday um, I don't see a maker's mark but I've already looked on the bottom. It might be somewhere else in the inside. I think that's perfect. So make sure you make it to the sale on Thursday. All kinds of uh, critters for sale, planters, um, figurines, salt and peppers. I think you're going to enjoy yourself with the variety that we're going to have on Thursday. So that'll be Thursday, this Thursday, at 6 o'clock p.m. Eastern uh, Standard Time. Um, please come back to Cindy Sturton again for the sale. And um, you'll see all this and more. Uh, I will add some more things to it. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Um, and then maybe hit the notification bell because uh, that way you'll see when I put other um, hauls up and so forth and uh, can see at a glance um, what will be on the sales. So hope you enjoyed yourself. Hope you liked something. Uh, give me a comment down below what's your favorite um, or give me any ideas of what you're looking for here lately and while I'm out shopping even in the antique store I will look for it for you. Um, mostly Salvation Army and Goodwill are where I find things but I uh, found this little antique place and I'm kind of happy about that. So, see you on Thursday. Have a great day. Thanks.